Today is what I call the pinnacle of our extra, uh, career extravaganza week. We have a whole week focused on helping students figure out how to enter the workforce or even just to investigate it, explore what's out there. We've had a resume workshop, we've had inter, uh, interview workshops, we had a career fair yesterday, and today we went to the four corners of the Tri-Cities to explore different career options. Uh, I am here at the Benton County Justice Center with a group of students who chose to be here. We had lots of options and I said, hey, if you want to have some sort of a job serving the county, working in law enforcement, corrections, whatever you got, we, we're, we're one-stop shopping right here at the Justice Center. And so we got to see courts, auditor, clerk, treasurer, sheriffs, uh, jail cells, corrections officers, uh, public defenders, um, just an incredible day. It, it's hard with students because sometimes they think they know what they want, but they're not really sure what other careers are maybe connected within that same field. And so if you wanna go into social work, but how do you do it? We had one student today who may not be on the bus with us because I think she's staying behind because she's excited to work with the prosecutor for the victim advocacy. And, and that's just one example of what these events mean. Kids have the opportunity to get into a work site so they have a visceral feel for, oh, that's what that building does. Oh, I could see myself in this environment. Oh, I'm hearing from other people that have worked here and they have a training or they just work their way in. This is seed planting. That's, that's the best we can do. We plant seeds, we nurture those seeds. And when my students walk away excited, I'm, I'm in a good spot. We, we've been here since nine o'clock, it's 1.30. I, I can't think of something that wasn't a good use of time. Every student today chose to be here and had some connection to wanting to see something here, whether it's it's going into the prosecution or a paralegal, or, um, get into the auditor's office, the clerk, so something to do with a dream that they have for helping the county operate, the public work department. I think my takeaway personally right now is going to be that student who got the uh, Eric Isinger's card. She's going to be calling him and trying to set up a job shadow or an internship to figure out how to be a victim advocate. That's, that's probably my, as of right this moment, that's my number one takeaway right here. But I, I'm excited to get back on the bus and hear the rest of the stories and talk to the kids tomorrow about what they got out of today. I'm, I'm incredibly grateful that the county gave us a chance to come out here and see what the jobs are. That's, that's just huge. Um, I don't hate the idea of kids having retail jobs, McDonald's and Target and Walmart and stuff, but I want them to dream about what they could do, how they could serve other people, how they could solve problems, how they could find their own job satisfaction somewhere in, in something that they're doing uh, beyond the retail. Most high schoolers, they're workplace experience is being a retail consumer. So if I can get them into a place like this where they can go, oh, oh, those are real people with real jobs and real names. And you know, one, one fellow was talking about how he went to school to be a music teacher and then he kind of dropped out. And uh, another lady was like, well, I've been here 35 years. I never went to high, never did anything past high school and I'm still here. I, I mean, it's, it's just great. These kids, 73% of high school graduates don't get a degree. Uh, not right away if ever so if I can show them people who are having successful careers that are fulfilling and exhilarating uh, yeah I, that, that, that's my day that that's that's what gets me up in the morning and keeps me going through the day